Binding multiple IP addresses to one interface. First question is why would we want to do that? Well, in this first little scenario I'm going to show you, it's to get temporary access to a subnet that happens to be on my physical network. So for some reason, we have two separate IP address schemes. My machine that I'm working at here right now is on one network and there's a computer I want to communicate with on another network. And the reason I'm saying it for this instance is because what I'm going to show you is how to do it from the command prompt and just do it temporarily. This is not a permanent solution. In the next video, I'll show you the permanent solution for this. So let me clear out of here and I'll CD out of this. And I'll do an if config. So once again, you can see my IP address information. And the one we're looking at right here is this one. And what I'm going to do with E0, I'm going to bind another IP address because you know, there is a, I have another network subnet out there on the 192 network. And if I try to from here ping, let me try 10.100.0.25. I get a response back. That's my Windows client that's out there on the network. But there's another Windows client out there that's on the 192.168.0.25 IP address. And it's actually physically on my network, but I can't communicate with it because obviously I don't have a route to get there. Or in this case, I don't have a, an IP address, an alternate IP address configured for my interface. So let's just go ahead and do that. And the easiest way to do it is to use the if config command, if config, and then we just tell it that we want to create a sub interface off of zero, and I'll just say E0, so now notice the colon, one, and then I give it an IP address after that, so 192.168.0.1. Now, if I don't do anything else besides this, and put the up at the end, if I don't do anything else besides this, it's going to assume that the mask is one default class C mask of 255.255.255.0. If it is for any other reason a subnetted mask, I would have to put in here net mask 255.255.255, let's say 128, right? If I'm going to subnet it down, but we're not, so I can just leave it like this also with a zero. Another O is zero. And that'll do the same thing. But if you're you're going with a default class C, then you, you can eliminate this part. You don't have to put it there. Let's press enter. I'll do an if config again. Bring it up. We see, and right here, look at that. We now have a 192.168.0.0 network interface that we can work with. So it is basically, you know, Linux, it's a child. This is a child of ETH0. So let's go test it. Go back and we'll try pinging, which we failed before. 0 0.25 out there. And there he is. Hello. All right. So that's how you can temporarily bind it. We can bind as many as we want, but that's a temporary way to do it. And if you want to bring it down, and because it is once it reboots, it's going away anyway. But if, you know, you can do if config, if config eth0 colon one down. And now if we try to ping nothing because we eliminated that interface that's a quick temporary way to get an a multiple ip addresses bound to an interface now that's showing you when i have two different networks and that's typically where maybe i would use it in this situation the next one i'm going to show you is a permanent way to bind interfaces multiple ip addresses on the same network into or same net subnet that i am currently on and we'll talk about why we do that in a minute